Hey guys, Ryan Main here, back with another figure review. Today is on the DC Direct Batman figure. This is the modern version. Um, got him on eBay today, from the other day. Um, you can tell he's actually loose. I'm going, since I don't have the package, I will be having a package segment up right here. Some images of that. As you can see, it's basically more or less like the flip uh, window display boxes you get with the Sideshow. Um, so it's kind of cool there. Um, so yeah, and then we can see the figure here. Or the figure outside of the thing, you see him there. So uh, anyway, even though, it's, even though uh, let's, I'll get him out of the package, more or less. Um, let's see everything he comes with in detail and take a question to the figure. Okay, so here's Batman out of the package again. Again, really awesome figure. Probably one of my favorite Batman figures that I own right now until I get my Keaton and Batman Returns Hot Toys. But pretty cool. Let's see. Give me a better idea here. But uh, first, let's get into his accessories. First, he comes with a stand. Let's go with a stand. Um, <laughs> pretty cool. It's different than the Sideshow ones. You can see that. Still got a waist clip and this just goes down. Pretty neat. And it also has Batman embossed right there. If you can see that. There you go. Pretty cool. I like it. So, there's that. And he also comes with a bunch of accessories here. He's got, other than the two fists he already has on, he has a couple of bendy hands here. There's like wires or, wires or something in here, so you can bend the hands a little bit. So, pretty cool. And he comes with a bunch of accessories. First off, here's a little weapons here. First off, here's a batarang. Pretty cool. And it clamps. There's another. He comes with two that are identical, pretty much. So this one, there we go, see that, more or less the same, see that there, they're identical, pretty cool, and he comes with this one here, it's like a pick thing I think, got bad on it, there's another one, and here's the last one here, pretty cool. And I'm, I'm guessing you can put the batarang in his hand if you want to. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. There you go, pretty cool. Um, I'll show you how to switch the hands out later. You know, this one. Only problem I've had with him so far is he's the left hand, the right hand wants to uh, pop off a lot. But it was getting the figure himself. Now, pretty cool head sculpt. I like it. One reason I like this one, I'll take this one over the sideshow, as I love the head on this one better. There is another version of this, a classic 1970s Neil Adams inspired version. I'll show you that here, where it's blue. It has a classic uh, yellow bat emblem on the chest instead of the solid black. Uh, the black one you see here. This is more modern. I'm going to say Jim Lee-ish, almost inspired, just because of how the ears are. I can see it. I can see that. Pretty neat here. Goes all the way down. I love the way the suit is, how the suit fits on the body mold on this one, because you can see the muscles coming through, the definition coming through the, the fabric here. It's kind of neat. Gives it more of a real feeling, like a realistic take on it, I think. Pretty cool. Um... He's got, I love the cape too, the cape on here is really cool, it's got this like, leathery feel to it, see it there, and it's double layered in the back and the inside, it's different material there, see that, it's pretty cool, I like it, and the, bat, uh, the bat, the utility belt here with different pouches on it, it's a colder color, off gold, Oop. pretty cool, and there's zippers all over, the costume so I'm guessing you could take this off if you wanted to but I'm not going to um, there's even zippers right there on the um, boots here oh this one is undone pretty cool got some treads there bottom shoe pretty cool pretty cool I like it 
I don't think the cape is as, pli as pliable as the sideshow one, but it still works and hangs. I like how it hangs on the figure, so that's pretty cool. So with that, let's get into the actual articulation of the figure now. Head doesn't really go up that much by itself; it goes down a little bit, a little bit of side to side. Looks side to side. There's no. There's a pivot in there. A little pivot in there. Arms swivel 360, but you gotta be careful because of the outfit. Um, so it would go 360, but I really don't want to go that far because I don't want to stress the costume. And oh, there's my problem with the figure there. So far as this hand does not like to stay, but he does have. They do swivel 360. The uh, fig hands will swivel 360 if we keep the hand on there. But they don't like to stay. Um, yep, there goes the gauntlet too. Got ab crunch, goes forward that far, goes back that far. Back that far, forward that far. There you go. Side to side. Legs go out this far. Pretty far. See that. Kicks this far forward. That far back. Um, it's got upper thigh swivel. Double joining knees. Ankles go a little bit down, a little bit up. Side to side a little bit, no real pivot in there, and no pickles on bottom feet, but still pretty good articulation. So for a DC Direct figure, um, he actually, Batman here stands actually at 13 and a half inches. See that there? I had to get my actual measuring tape, the head, the bigger one instead of the ruler. See that there? Ah, he's gonna fall. He's gonna fall. Um... So he's a little bit bigger than your side shows, but uh, but uh, either way, let's uh, get some size comparisons and pick that up. <laughs> so here he is next to my um, Marvel Legends Venom, uh, the new Dor Doberman one, and the uh, SHP Arts Vegeta Premium Color Version. See here, he is much taller than these guys, so we will not fit in your Marvel Legends or new Marvel Legends, or just Legends, uh, or SHP Gearworks display. And if you haven't seen my Venom review or, and, or my uh, Vegeta review, please check those out. And here he is next to my Kameek, uh, Batman Returns of Shell Fight for Catwoman, my uh, Hot Toys X-Men Days of Future Past, Hugh Jackman Wolverine, my Sideshow with Collectible Star Wars Order of the Jedi, um, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, um, my uh, Tornado Ryoko, uh, Real Toys Raven Vincent Price, Sideshow Collectibles Baby Ghosty Dracula, and Sideshow Collectibles Silver Screen Crown of the Opera. As you can see, he is taller than all these guys, so he will not fit in your Sideshow or Hot Toys or Tornado display. And here he is next to my Sideshow Collectibles Golden Ring, Fellowship of the Ring, uh, Lego Screenleaf, uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Star Wars, Heroes of the Rebellion, um, we'll shoot Lenny, uh, Family and Dawa, uh, Sancho Gledful, Star Wars, Order of the Jedi, Revenge of the, Revenge of the Sith, um, Anakin Skywalker, Sancho Gledfuls, Star Wars, Order of the Jedi, uh, Clone Lord, Clone Lord, Clone Wars, <laughs> Commander, Obi-Wan Kenobi with the Sideshow Collectible, Star Wars, Order of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, McGregor, Obi-Wan Head Sculpt, Sancho Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, uh, Star Wars Order of the Jedi, um, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Central Collectibles Army of Darkness Ash figures. You can see he is taller than all these guys. Maybe closest to Ash. Um, so he will not fit in your Sideshow Star Wars Lord of the Rings or uh, Star Wars or uh, Army of Darkness display. And here he is next to my uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace Pamela Adalos. You can see Batman is taller. He is taller. And finally, here he is next to my uh, Marvel Legends Rogue One Tomb Raider figure wave, Scarlet Spires. You can see he is taller. So all in all, I think this is a pretty cool figure. I like it. Um, articulation is pretty good. I mean, this is a few years old. I think 2007 is when these actually came out, um, or so. So I'm right that. Um, and you know, almost a decade old, and I think they're pretty good. They still hold up. Um, you know, I think it's. it's kind of on your preference matter which one you like better um rather than this is the sideshow um i like this one better just because of the head sculpt for the most part i love the way the uh suit like kind of meshes with the butt after a while it looks like 
the muscle definition starts coming in through the fabric, which is pretty cool. Um, and the cape's pretty nice. You know, overall, I think it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, the only couple of issues I have with it is that hand. The right hand just likes to pop off a little too easy for than I would like. Um, and the stand doesn't really hold them as good as I like this. I like the sideshow ones better, or the ones you can get from Wall. Uh, Hobby Lobby, pretty good as well. And so I'll probably end up getting one of those for him later on. Um, and um, I like the. I mean, I don't like the uh, how big the in, the zippers are on the back of the boots and stuff. That is a little bothersome, but I mean, you can hide them kind of depending on the angle. So it's not too bad of a problem. Just something I should I should uh, point out. And the articulation could be a little bit better. On certain parts, I'm not. I don't have the sideshow to compare it with, but maybe the ankle articulation is better on that one. If you guys have that, please let me know. Um, but otherwise, I think this is a pretty cool figure, and I definitely definitely recommend it if you're a Batman fan. Um, anyway, this is my quick review of the um, DC Direct 13-inch um, modern Batman, because there is an, an Adam West, uh, <laughs> Adam West, uh, Neil Adams version out there as well it's, I think more or less the same as this one almost a different color and everything so uh, anyway yeah that was my quick review on him of uh, my DC Direct um, 13 inch monitor Batman I uh, hope you like it hope you're helpful if you did please hit the like button subscribe share leave a comment definitely appreciate it follow me on Twitter Ryan Ernst Gourmet as always my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time for justice